Well, it seems Dave needs a transmission. And it, not me, Dave, but Mr. David Hunt, his 73 is uh, giving us some issues here. It just wouldn't make any movement in any gear all of a sudden. And we drop the pan. I'll take you under and we'll take a look at that. Oh, so if you're new, <laughs> here's the 1900. Let's look at this pan real quick. Well, you've cleaned it out, but I want to see the paper towel that we got from it. Um, this is our evidence. Lots of this. Mm. Aluminum shavings. Really? Oh, yeah. You got three of these paper towels. Yep, and then a couple of medium-sized chunks like this. So, I don't know, is that friction material, you think, from the clutch packs? Or the belts, perhaps, wearing? Let's see, all right, we'll set this down, and I'll take under the car. Sad thing is, look at that. 99,628, almost rolled over to 100,000 miles. But there wasn't a lot of gunk in here, so we were cautiously optimistic that something had, something else might have failed. Uh, like perhaps one of these tubes, which just controls the hydraulic pressure through the passageways in and out of the valve body. Perhaps one of them had popped out. The screen goes in there and it's four screws. This is the top side, this is the bottom. And it was also showing a little bit of gunk on it. But as far as we can tell, everything's in place like it should be. So it's probably an internal failure somewhere. This is the kick down cable. You see the cable wraps around this, just like a throttle. And then when it opens up, it has a little, oops. Right there. That's the sensation of the kick down. And then the throttle adjustment linkage, or the throttle, not throttle, um, the gear shift linkage that comes up from the top here, and it goes all along the side, and there's a couple of bushings in there that you can service. That goes to this rod. I'm trying not to get in the line of hydraulic fluid that's dripping here, but... So this rod here is what is attached by the linkage from the outside. And so that goes through and we could feel the detents of each gear as it moves the plunger to also change the hydraulic passageways. This here is spring loaded. And I don't know what it is. It looks almost like a vacuum controlled thing. I'm not too familiar with the Borg Warner 35, but it's uh, not very big. You know, it goes from just the engine to maybe two feet back, two and a half feet. So it's kind of a, bu a bummer for us. and. It'd be great to get Dave back on the road, especially since he really loves his cars and he doesn't like having this down and out. Up. We're being hung up by something, but I can't tell what it is. Can you see? Yes. Yes. No. It's stuck. Come on. You're doing so good. Is there a hammer over on that side? Up. 
silly little dipstick. Oh, look at that. You might need a new dipstick too, but I got it. He said I may need a new dipstick too, but he got it. Huh? Hope I didn't run over your fingers. No. I'll try again. So with this plan, I'm gonna go behind this wheel in that opening. All right, that's as high as it gets. so we can turn the wheels. Okay. I did it. Well, here's the end result. It was pretty awful. Mostly because I didn't remove the dipstick tube. Dipstick tube has a lot that goes into the trans. That's a good two and a half, three inches, and you can see the drama from trying to bend it. And then there's also this vacuum line, sort of, it's like a vent hose. I think that's to prevent burps when you're filling it. Uh, does it look like that tube could be put in after the transmission's in? That's what I am wondering, because it needs to be basically, it was such a battle to get it in this way that it seems like it would have to get put in after but that could also be really awful because it's there's no room once this thing's up in there it's not very big it's just cloistered all right ironically the torque converter has stayed in place even though i made very careful efforts to remove the four bolts from it and by the look of things I don't know. I don't know how things look. Let me pull the torque converter now. Okay, that's pretty nice, huh? All right, let's have a moment. I just wanna keep it real with you guys. Um, I'm tired of car work. It's just, it's not It's not actually very funny to me. I, I'm really uh, tired of it. Not in the sense that I'm gonna stop for good. It's just, you know, I've been saying that forever and I, had a 30th birthday and have just been wanting to move over to acting the thing that I'm more passionate about um and on top of it car work has kind of been keeping me broke because you get all excited about projects and whatnot and then next thing you know you're filthy out of money and I'm happy to be here to be a friend to Dave when he needs it because that's a big job and not, neither of us have any money to have someone else do it so I'm happy to be there for him. Thankfully, his friend uh, has a transmission on the shelf. It's been there for 25 years. It's purportedly rebuilt, but we'll see what happens. The point is, duty calls when you are sometimes at your low, and that's just how it's been lately. I'm grateful for the work I've had, but I gotta move on, man. That's just a little heart-to-heart. -heart. Um, getting the transmission back in is gonna be awful, and that dipstick tube. But it's... You know, I just, I just do it. I just putz away and go home and shower. And that's my favorite part of the day is just seeing how much black crud comes out of the hair when you're shampooing. But uh, yeah, this is, this is not my career. I like making my videos and I like talking to you guys. I don't really like crawling around under a car on cold pavement, arms like this, trying to get something and then being frustrated that my shoulder rolls out of the socket a little bit and then it's sore for a couple days or my collarbones feel weird or mosquitoes all this stuff anyway soap opera's over i just wanted to take advantage of a sunset to play on your feelings i'm a mess but we're we're good look it's out I'm calling it for the day all right so it's got fluid probably halfway they found it. See, nobody can get it this day, I'm not
Oh, shine it on the bottom of the pan here. Yep. See all the shiny stuff? Oh yeah, that's quite nice. It's a nice effect. Looks like there's some uh, 